Good morning, everybody. I'm out here gathering some sweet gum balls. These are sweet gum balls, right? Get a good picture of it here. The wind's kind of blowing. But those little balls right there, they're green. They look like little, I don't know, like mace weapons <laughs> or whatever. I guess if it hit you on the head, it would hurt. But they're all kinds of them growing on this tree right now usually in the falls when you see them and they'll turn brown and they'll release a whole bunch of little seeds that will go out but what you want to do is you want to collect them before they turn brown you want to get them while they're green so these are used for um, an anti-fungal or antiviral actually rather uh, if you've ever heard of Tamiflu the shikimic acid, which is contained in these little balls here, there's some in the leaves and there's some in the bark, but there's more in these these green fruit. And uh, it's used to make a similar thing as uh, Tamiflu. Tamiflu is made from star anise. If you remember back a couple of years ago that uh, we had a big scare about bird flu and uh, all these other kind of flus and uh, the big companies bought up all the the uh, star anise which w it was made from and the price just went through the roof so uh, this is a version that we can make ourselves you can get a good picture of the, the balls i'm just collecting up a, a goodly portion of the balls here and i'll take those and i'll uh, chop them up and uh, we'll put them into a jar or whatever and uh, some alcohol and make a tincture out of it and uh, that'll be what we use for a uh, antiviral uh, like if you had a flu coming on or something like that you could use this to uh, help with that so a lot of these big companies buy up these plants that are made are these uh, plants that make medicines and we have these same medicines that are just right here around us the bark also was used uh, in olden days there's not any showing right here but they call it a sweet gum because it actually had if you cut the tree and you let the sap come out it'll make a sweet gum and in olden days they used to give it to the kids to uh, to be something like chewing gum or whatever so uh, it's a really useful medicinal tree and I don't know if it grows everywhere in the United States but I know everywhere in the south you'll see these uh, growing all along especially around uh, low places where there's a lot of water and uh, but now this particular tree is just at our neighbor's house so uh, our, we have a tree on our property, but it doesn't have any, any of the balls on it. So it's another one of those kinds of things where a, uh, a tree can be a male or a female. And these are female trees here. So uh, if you like seeing these kind of videos, just uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, as we learn about these things out in the land around where we are, then uh, we're going to be shooting videos and talking about making these different kinds of medicines that we have right outside our door. Talk to you later. Bye.